people can go in and do the antibody test and they see a certain amount of people in ireland now that the thing has passed for instance they're saying they're only around three or four percent have been exposed and have antibodies but we now know that we can't determine the exact numbers or the size of the the uh, segments we know there's people who had mucous membranes or a certain degree of healthy membranes that the virus came in and just never got anywhere. So no real immune response, but hey, they passed the virus by and they didn't help spread it. So they contribute in some way to herd immunity. To some extent, you would say logically. We've got the innate system, which you went through perfectly. Their innate ancient system would have taken care of it. They leave no antibodies for the test, but they go on, pass it by, and become part of herd immunity group. The T cells and the T and B cell systems you went through so excellently, those guys won't show antibodies in the test. We don't know how many of them are, but from a recent paper, it suggests that six out of 10 asymptomatic people with known infection from COVID had no antibodies. So, you know, they, they, these could add up to quite a lot. And then of course, false negatives. These are new antibody tests. You know, they have limitations and there's going to be a certain amount of people missed who do have some level of antibodies or maybe have a low below threshold of the test level. So all of these, even though we don't know the exact quantities, they're all part of what will go towards herd immunity, but we're only counting this portion 